Okay, well, the look of the season for Mara, we've gone for something slightly more sophisticated. We're working with a very low parting, so it's very clean from the front, quite chic. We've braided the hair, but we're taking the braids out. And then we rebraid the very, very bottom, sort of two inches, and then we're spraying it with gold, so it almost looks like they've been dipped in gold. Mara Hoffman asked for sexy, gorgeous gypsies. She likes makeup, she likes to see it, she likes to feel it. It's very sultry, it's very glossy, lots of black eyeliner, lots of mascara, and a lovely nude lip. It's a very done, glamorous girl. I feel that most of my collections are usually geographically inspired. And so it's always a continuation of her travels and her journey. And this season, she has found herself in Northern Africa. Pulling references from the Bedouin people, and uh, she's through Egypt, she's through Morocco. She's a layer and a collector, and um, a, a wonder and a wanderer. you're going to see there's one called pyramids that is really referencing pyramids there is a bizarre print it's called bizarre that comes from moroccan carpets as well as the checkers um, and then there's a print a moon's print that sort of plays uh, the celest our celestial compass above you know i've been loving moroccan carpets and sort of the imperfection of the geometry within them and that was such an easy sort of jump off spot and then the um, I was thinking about pyramids and I have all these ideas and we sort of wrap them all together and here's northern Africa I love her as a designer. I think she's so cool and like cutting edge and interesting. It's crazy. I love her clothes. It's amazing. It's like pants and top. You look, see, you see it. It's amazing. Um, she's eclectic, she isn't afraid of being a little bit sexy, she's into ethnicity and different cultures, and she celebrates color. I would say to not be afraid of color, regardless of the season and to dress boldly and beautifully at all times.